Hey there. This is uh, part two of the GUI tutorials, and it's going to show how to create a pause menu. This was requested by a forum member to indulge this topic, so we're going to go ahead and create a simple pause menu. And to do that, uh, we're going to extend uh, this GUI layout and create a pause button. So I'm going to go ahead and make another begin area. Then I'm going to close it with an end area, and we'll put a GUI layout button in there. Let's bring this down right there, make it a little less wide. Perfect. Okay. Cause this, call this the pause menu. Okay. Now we're going to have to set up some states. So this button is going to fire an event. We're going to make a pause game event. And then there's going to, of course, be an unpause game event. And in the pause menu, what do we want? Let's say we want a show help. And we probably want a quit button. So we'll make these events. We're going to need a state for the game being paused. And of course the start state is the game unpaused. Now from the pause state we could do health or help, help menu. And we could quit the game. These are all the states that we could will be shifting through in the pause menu. So from the game running, if they click the pause button, it'll shift to here. Then if they click the quit button, it'll go to here. And if they click the help button, it'll go to here. Okay. Now, in this state we have the button send the event to pause the game and that'll transition to here. So let's go ahead and copy this. And since we're using a GUI layout like this, it stacks nicely with these buttons that we're going to add. So in the paused state, this button is going to turn into the unpause button. And it will unpause the game and send it back. Okay. Unpause. There we go. Now we'll just copy this a couple of times. The second button will be the help and the third button will be quit. Okay. So We'll set up the transitions to show help, and this will transition to quit. Now, in the paused state, we'll have to pause the game. So we'll take it and do set time, oops, sorry, scale time. We'll set the time scale to zero. This effectively stops the game pretty much perfect for pausing the game. Uh, there's a couple of fringe scenarios that you might have trouble with and in that case you would want to go to the asset store and get a custom pausing asset that's just made for pausing your game. They are uh, much more advanced than doing the scale time trick and uh, if you have a unique situation or a complex game you might want to look into those. But for this scale time works fine. So we'll just scale the time to zero when they enter the pause state. Now in the help menu, we're going to go ahead and copy this back. And I don't think we need all these. Let's just have an unpause button. Just keep things simple. 
send it back to here yep and then the quit button will be quit application okay now if they hit the unpause button it's going to go back to this state so obviously in this state we're going to have to set the time scale to one right okay let's see how this works so here we are playing our game and there's this majestic magical smoke coming out of this mysterious box and to the north there's a secret door and there's a pause menu we hit the pause and it stops the game scale time has gone to zero and all of this scene has ceased to no time as it is but we have this cool menu and we can click the help button to go to the help menu where there is absolutely no help whatsoever and we can unpause the game now we're back to normal so that's the basic way to create a pause menu it's the simplest way for sure using scale time and as I said before, if you run into problems with that, then you can always go to the asset store. There's some great assets available for that. Um, but that's that's about it. Just use scale time uh, and choreograph it with your buttons through these events. And you should have a pretty cool pause menu. So hope that answers your question and helps. Uh, have fun with it.